What's up, Buttercups? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Pocket Crystal League, as you can see. And, uh, this is a Pokemon card game. So we get Grass, Fire, or Water Starter Deck. Um, personally, I'm probably going to choose Fire. I am Professor Aspen of the Caillou Moo region, here to help you with the basics. Do you think you have what it takes to be the next Crystal League champion? Well, let's start from the beginning. Pick your starter deck. Fire. Ooh, Cyndaquil. I like Cyndaquil a lot. Pidgey, Spearow, and Rotata. That's, that's a little rough. Excellent choice. Now go to your deck and equip your newly acquired cards. Make sure to include all of your berries too. You'll need them. When you're done, come back here and let's get things started. If you're already familiar with the rules, feel free to get a payout instead. Tutorial. Please go to my deck. Alright, deck. Well, first of all, Actually, options, full screen. There we go, now I gotta make things look correct for you guys. There you go. Um, what else we got? Vertical synchronization, pixel interpolation. Player icon. Oh, cool. Let's just go with that. Um... And I think that's good. What else? Deck? Just add it all. Yep. Is that in the deck? This says inventory up here and deck down here, but I want to add these to my deck. I'm guessing that's in there. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I guess so. Welcome to the very first card battle. Don't worry if it seems complicated at first. The rules are actually quite simple. Your turn, it's your turn first, so let's start by drawing cards. On your first turn, you always get five draw points, or DP. These are always used to draw Pokemon and berries from your deck. Berries are used to play, to play your Pokemon, so both decks are important. There's three common types of berries, Orin Berries, Leva Berries, and Lum Berries. Most Pokemon require one of these to be played. Right now, you have 5 DP, which means you can draw cards. Drawing a Pokemon costs 2 DP, while drawing berries costs only 1 DP. Go ahead and draw. Let's say, let's say 2 Pokemon and 1 berry. So I have 5 DP. I can draw cards. Drawing a Pokemon costs 2, and drawing a berry costs 1. So they want me to draw 2 Pokemon and a berry. So this is Pokemon, and this is Berry. Good, it seems both of your Pokemon require an orange Berry to be played. You can see the little Berry icon next to their picture. Play the orange Berry you just got anywhere you want, then play a Rattata on top of it. Pokemon can't attack during your first turn, so once your Rattata is played, click the big green button to end your turn. Alright, so this is pretty easy. This is their side, right? And when they want me to play Rattata. There we go. On its turn. I played my Sentrant, but since it was my first turn, I couldn't attack either. It is now your turn again. You get 2 DP on all turns after you go first. Go ahead and draw 2 more berries so that you can play your Pidgey. Good player Pidgey in front of my Sentrant, blocking them, then attack with both of your Pokemon by clicking on them. Okay. Oh, so you just click to attack. Okay. 
Good job, your Pidgey attacked my Sentra, dealing damage equal to your Pidgey's attack minus my Sentra's defense, and your Rattata was unopposed, dealing damage to hit my points directly. I saw him hitting directly because he has nothing in this slot to block, is what I'm getting. I don't know if that's the best mechanic. I think you should aim. You should click, hold, and drag to what you want to hit. Kind of like Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Because that seems a little odd that if there's nothing in front of it, you just slam in. But maybe it's good. We'll see. As you can see on the right, the hit points bar is now tipped in your favor. Okay, so I have 6 hit points, he has 4. Um, each point of damage dealt directly reduces your opponent's hit points while increasing your own. Interesting. When your opponent's hit points reach 0, you win. You already took an early step towards your victory. So he has 1 attack. I did 1 direct damage, so I gained 1 and he lost 1. What I'm seeing. Um, so I'll end my turn. I have zero DP. It's your turn again. You have a berry on your hand, but no Pokemon to play. Draw another Pokemon next, then play it to attack. And this is the health that I have, right? So I need to draw a Cyndaquil. Play the Orin Berry. And then we get to attack. Um... So we only attack in front of us. That's kind of odd, but okay. Next turn, you have no cards to play right now. Draw another Pokemon and then attack once again with the ones you already have on the battlefield. So I can't play this because I don't have any Orin Berries down. What does that mean on that's showing up on the bottom of the card? Is that their defense? Interesting. Wow, only one attack on both of these. Okay. What a lucky draw. Your Spearow has a type advantage over the Bellsprout. One played. This is the perfect time to draw some more berries. Okay. I'll draw two berries. Excellent. When a Pokemon has a type advantage over another, their attacks will deal one extra point of damage, even if it, even if the receiving Pokemon has a higher defense. Contrary to real Pokemon, though, type advantages in cards only deal bonus damage. This means there are no type resistances or immunities, and Pokemon that are weak to a certain type will always receive extra damage. This makes it so that, for example, Bulbasaur, Grass, Poison Pokemon will always deal bonus damage to other Bulbasaur since Poison has an advantage over Grass. But anyways, go ahead and play your Spearow right in front of the Bellsprout. Then attack to take them out in one hit. Alright. And I... So Orin Berries heal in the real game. Like, if I used an Orin Berry on a Pidgey, would that heal it? No. Okay. It has a little... It had a golden sword instead, so I'm assuming that means it's super effective. Ouch, I wasn't expecting the battle to go that way, but it's definitely a good lesson for both of us. Alright. So, I end my turn. My Ch Pichu has a Glyph. A Glyph. Interesting. Glyphs are unique abilities that can be added to cards. This one lowers the attack of any card opposing to them. Before teaching a glyph to one of your cards, though, you should know that Pokemon usually increase their berry cost the first time they learn a glyph, and they can't be forgotten afterwards, so choose carefully. Oh, okay. Each card has... have up to three different glyphs. You can see what any of them do by placing your mouse over the icon, so look around. But anyway, draw your last Pokemon from your deck and play it in front of my Pidgey to take them out. And attack with the rest of your Pokemon as well. Orin Berry. So where's his Glyph? Is this it? Yeah. Deliberate. Debilitate, sorry. The opposing card's attack is lowered by one. Okay. Attack. 
Back. Back. It seems our battle is almost over. Attack once more with your Pokemon to deal final blow. Okay. There we go. Receive $400. Nice. That was a great battle. You clearly have a talent for cards, but talent is little without practice. Alright, to be able to battle in Crystal League, first you need to build you up your team and gain experience. Your goal is to travel through Ayumu and challenge each of the gym leaders from the eight major cities in the region. Along the way, you'll be presented with numerous choices to expand your deck, strengthen your cards, and battle other trainers. This is a definitely an interesting concept. Here's your first set of choices. You can either get a card pack with three new cards and a random berry, or pick up a free card from a random set of three. The choice is yours. Pick up a card pack or a free card. I think I'm going to go with a card pack. After that, your first stop will be to challenge Gym Leader Ian in Iris Town. It will be hard, but don't give up. Okay, so this is a little weird. You know how in a Pokemon game, you like, go through the routes and everything, and it's like a full adventure to get to your first Gym Leader and all that, and you train your Pokemon and catch new ones and stuff? That's just not the case here. I'm going straight to the Gym Leader. Safe travels, kid. I believe in you. Let's open a card pack. Onyx. Nice. Warren. Ditto. What? We got a Ditto? I like that a lot. And a Growlithe. That's really strong, I would think. And we we can add 10 cards. But we only have 5 berry. Um, Let's get rid of... Them. Should we be trying to have diverse decks or or what? Rattata can definitely go and Spear can definitely go. There's one attack, no defense. Yeah, everything seems to be very, very low at the beginning here. Like, almost everything is exactly the same, other than this Onyx having one extra defense. Oh, this cost a Lum. So we gotta keep that in mind. We have six berries, so we can technically have six Pokemon, right? Well, I mean, we can have more than that, but... We don't have Lum berries yet. Yeah, this little green dot means it costs a Lumberry instead. I mean, there's no disadvantage to having these in my deck, because they all do the exact same thing. I'll just keep them all in the deck, other than Onyx. Um, so that's good. A Berry Pack. A Glyph or a Level Up. Interesting. I think we go with a berry pack. Oh, maybe we do kind of go on a little adventure here. Let's go with a berry pack. Lepa? Lum? There we go. We got a lum. We needed that. Okay, so now uh, let's put that in there. Should we be doing that, though? If we draw a lum berry, we're kind of screwed. I feel like you should have lum decks. Like... The deck should be based on the berry, pretty much. How do we put less of a berry in? Right click. Okay. Oh, that's like cell, per se. Okay. It makes it seem weird. It seems like you're selling it, but you're not. You're just removing it. Okay. Cool. So we'll get 90 to $110. 
if we battle this bug catcher or get a payout of 80. Let's battle the bug catcher. So we do go on a little adventure, so I was wrong. I thought we were going straight to the gym leader. Let me draw cars. You have 5 DP. Let's draw two and put that. I'm going to put Charmander. And we can't attack on the first turn, so we will pass. First impression so far, pretty good. I think the battling's a little weird to me, but that's okay. Um, let's... we have 2 DP, well let's draw a berry. And put out Ditto. <laughs> that's so cool! I really like Ditto a lot. I don't know how rare that is, but um... Pretty nice to have in the beginning. So let's attack. And let's attack. Oh, do we lose our DP if we don't use it? I did not know that. We definitely should have... Drew. Oh man, that sucks. Well, you gotta make mistakes to learn, right? Let's get rid of this Weedle. And you can see its effectiveness if you hover over it down here. So, um, for example, when I draw this, I hover over it. The one plus one that comes up here is I do one extra damage. Let's get a Spiro out to destroy that. So we're equal at the moment. Okay, I have two draw points. We got a Rattata. We can't place it. Alright, two again. So we'll just do one around the board. I think we want to get rid of Zubat, in my opinion. And then I guess we can bury up this spot. Are we going to lose the berry? No. Okay. We lost! <laughs> we lost our first trainer. Oh no! Do we not get to go back? That sucks. Uh, evolution. Jeez, card pack. I can't afford any of this. Battle the scientist. Let's try it. They go first. Okay. Let's draw two and see what we got. Hook Charmander out. How do we level up Pokemon just by that phase where we do that. Is that what's going on? Wow, three to Weedle has three health. Ooh, that's tough. Um... Let's just, uh, create a lineup going here. Oh, shoot. I just pass without attacking. I'm a noob. Sorry. Ditto. Ooh, okay. Let's ditto here. Mmm, 2 DP. Get ourselves a Cyndaquil. Yeah, we are getting actually screwed. Well, we can do that. And then we'll pass. Got Spiro. Let's get rid of the Zubat real quick. We're gonna lose! We're out of berries. Oh, man. Yep. That's game. Wow. We are really bad, huh? 
I guess level up a Pokemon. Cause uh, this ain't going too well. Hard pack lift <laughs> battle hiker, I guess. Hopefully we get to do this again when we come back. Cause we're not doing so hot. Oh, they just completely skipped. That's really weird. Oh, gotta put my orange berry down. Back. Well, I think we win this one. Just by a little bit. <laughs> okay, well I don't know why that was so easy compared to the rest. He didn't even place cards. I guess he didn't draw into berries he needed or something. Ah, we need a battle. We need some money. They go first. Meowth, okay. Um da -da 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 -da. let's let's Spiro. Alright, uh draw two berries. Our ditto out. Hmm, okay. He else about to die. Let's definitely get rid of him. There we go. Oh, 2 DP. gonna continuously take damage here. They're winning. How are we losing so badly? We're gonna gain a little on this, right? Yeah, we're even now. But we can double up on this. But we can kill Caterpie. And Voltorb. Now we're ahead. I guess just draw. Oh no, I skipped. Ay ay ay. The gameplay seems a little simple for me. Maybe that's just me though. Roughneck. Interesting. We can get a new card pack. I really want to do that. Teeny, Taurus, and Teddy Ursa. Not bad. How does that change our team? Not much, to be honest. Um, they require Lumberries, so I'm not gonna screw with that. Let's battle. I guess there should be taking more payouts, huh? Um, let's just get out of Teddy Ursa right now. Yeah, ooh, he actually defends more against me. That's kind of a shame. Let's just go for raw damage then. Okay. Ditto. Okay. Let's, uh, let's ditto him. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Ooh, whooper. Jeez. Oh no. This is not good. equal at the moment, but it's not looking too hot. Get rid of him. We're still equal. 2dp is nothing. 
That's our last berry. Holy crap. Oh, we are losing. We can't place it anyway, so why does it matter if we draw? We are winning, but I don't know if that's going to last with all these whoopers. How is he playing whoopers? Does he have berries? Like, I don't have any berries. Oh, this is going south. Yeah, we're out of berries, so there's nothing we can do. I'm just gonna let him win. What? He has a lump. That whooper costs a lumberry and a... We need a berry pack so bad. Alright, let's go Ace Trainer. We're doing quite bad. Uh, let's save the uh, Charmander. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want him to battle the Caterpie. Oh, we have 2 DP. Let's just get Horus out here. Our berry situation is pretty bad. We're killing it. Ralith? Yeah. Let's go. Victory! Nice! Alright. Maybe we can get a berry pack. There it is. One Orin. That's really bad. Ooh, we have eight now? Did I miss one? Free card? Or a card? I'm gonna go for a free card. An Eevee? Sure. Why not? Well, let's go back to deck. Uh, Eevee costs a, um, an orange berry, so we can definitely throw her in. Not ready. Do we just go back through the beginning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Um, let's go for a free card. Ooh, Porygon, Ladybug. I think I'm going with Porygon. He's just so cool. So you can go back through again. All right. Things are starting to make sense to me now. Um. Let's get Porygon in. What can we take out? Spiro. Yeah, that's good. Battle a swimmer. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Because we're like mostly fire. A berry pack or a level up? I guess we don't have a choice but to battle the swimmer. We'll go through this town one more time and try to defeat the gym leader. And then that'll be, I think, the end of the video. Um, let's go. This is pretty cool, though. I like it. Uh, let's see. Meryl. Oh, yeah, that is going to be very, very dangerous. I'll just let Meryl hit. Ooh, okay. Um, I guess we go with the Meryl. Ooh, we took out the uh, Staryu. Nice. How does, um... Do you evolve cards? Like, do you have to pull a Charmander, pull a Charmeleon, pull a Charizard? Or does it just, like... Throw a Charizard. I think that's how it's gonna work. Because the real TCG, you gotta spend energy to, like, upgrade your Charmander, etc. 
We have two DP. Get two berries. Let's take them out. Look at this. We're just out here winning. Let's get Pidgey in there to hit the final hit. $93. Oh, look at that. 99. We could have leveled up Pokemon. <clears throat> Alright, opponent's turn. Ah, oh, jeez. More water types. Yeah, I'm just going for raw, raw damage. Okay. Yeah, let's stop that Smeargle. They need to block my Charmander. Uh, Rattata. Let's block the Wooper. Holding out. Let's get two berries. Destroy the whooper. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Ladybug has zero defense. To the... Okay. Guess we should definitely. Oh no, I. He does zero damage. That's pretty actually bad. Ditto, nice, all right. Let's, I guess, do that. There we go, $107. Evolution, what does that even say? That says 500. That kind of looks like a 900 because of the rock color, but it's not. Let's get a card pack. Spin rack. Needs Lepas, Nita needs Orins, and Kangaskhan also needs Orins. Hmm. Let's get rid of Pidgey and Rattata. Put in Panita and Kangaskhan. That sounds good to me. Battle Camper, for sure. I'm surprised you don't. Like, your cards don't gain XP when you're battling. Maybe that's just me. So does that mean... He defends... Yeah, he defends more. He only has 1 HP, so I'm just gonna... Do that. He'll hit me... And then I'll hit him back. Ooh. Ouch. This trainer is hard. So I'm going to do zero to both of those if I attack. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're screwed here. All right, bird keeper. I think we can handle that. Ditto. Let's Teddy Ursa. Oof. Okay. Oop. I draw the wrong thing. That's gonna hurt. we could level up our ditto that would be really clutch right now I guess we just try and go for some damage we're winning at the moment 
but that can all change. Victory. Nice. 109. All right. So we have one more thing, I guess. And this is it. Let's level up Pokemon. Let's level up Ditto for sure. Hell yeah. And let's battle. Gym leader, Ian. Ian, sorry. <laughs> Gym location, Iris Town. Deck type, Normal Flying. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's just throw an Eevee out there. Ooh, a level 2 Persian. That's kind of uh, crazy. Oh, we have 15 health in this one. We would do 0 damage to it? That's... Real bad. Okay. Oh, goodbye, Eevee. A ditto. Oh, uh, man. Four health? Holy crap. Okay. Let's get rid of this Apom. Ooh. Oh, these are very strong. He has a very strong fur. Yeah, we're... we lost. Best play would be this, but it doesn't help. That's a win. Alright, well the gym leader's really, really hard, but... I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. My name is Mr. Buttercup, I make gameplays, guides, and streams sometimes. Stick around, I'll give you my thoughts on the game. My thoughts on the game are, it's pretty interesting. It is definitely unique. Um, the fact you can switch around your deck so easily. Um, the fact that they're using berries as, like, energy <laughs> is really cool. Um, the glyphs thing, that's kind of neat. I, I kind of like that. Where you can add little glyphs to them and make them stronger but cost more. Um, I'm glad they have like a little journey to go through to get to the gym leader. And you can actually redo the journey over and over. Super cool, super cool. Um, this is just my first 30 minutes worth of gameplay. But I think this is definitely worth a try. It's a free game. And you might as well try it out. So, that's the end of my thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And peace.